Hello everyone, we will continue the topic file handling. In the previous videos, we did the file handling on presentation server. Firstly, we read the data from the file which is on presentation server. Then we write the data to the file which is on presentation server. Now, based upon the last video, I received so many queries like this, that firstly, you created a blank file on the presentation server. But people ask, firstly, you created a blank file on the presentation server, then you run the program and the data has been written to that file. So is it compulsory that firstly, we need to create a blank file on the presentation server? No, it is not compulsory. If you have a same name on your, if you have, if you have the same name of the file, that data will be written to that file. If you do not have a file with the same name, it will create the file and then the data will be written to that file. Suppose. We'll go for a understanding. I'm not creating a blank file on the presentation server. And I'm giving the name order one. See, on my presentation server, there is no file with order one. So whenever we will run the program, it will create a file first with the order one. Then it will write the data to that particular file. Suppose if I'm running the program, if I will give the input, you can see data has been downloaded and I have a file on my presentation server with the order one. So there's no need to create blank files file first. If you are creating a file with the same name, that data will be written to that file. If the file name is not existing, it will create a file first, then the data will be written to that file. So this is all about the learning of file handling on the presentation server. Now we will go for file handling on application server. Now, whenever we will go for file handling on application server, one transaction code will play a vital role or very extremely important role. In the projects also, this transaction code will play an important role whenever you will go for file handling on application server. Suppose, if I'll firstly show you this transaction code, I will go to AL11 transaction code. You can see, this transaction code is for SAP directories and we have so many directories available and we will go for file handling means we will write the data to the file. We will read data from the file on in, in these directories. In the project, they will let you know that this is the directory which you have to use to write the data to the file or this is direct this is the directory which you have to use to read the data from the file and in this case also we will go for same to same two things firstly how to write the data to a file on application server how to read data from a file on application server application server means we will totally, totally talk about this AL11 transaction code. Now, we'll go for some project requirement and then we will take one requirement and we will achieve that requirement. Suppose in the project, what the one requirement which I got that, so every day, whatever the sales order are getting created, Whatever the sales orders are getting created into SAP, you need to create a file for the same and you have to put into AL11 directory. Means daily, whatever the sales orders are getting created into SAP, you need to create a file for the same 
and you need to put into AL11 directory. This is the requirement, real project requirements which we are getting. So we'll just go for same to same kind of example. We have a order header table. If you remember, we have a order header table. Suppose if I will go to order header table. This is our order header table. What customer is saying daily, whatever the, whatever the order numbers are available in this table, you need to create a file for the same and you need to put into AL11 transaction code. This is the requirement. Previous, if you remember what we did, we created the file, but we put the file on presentation server on our desktop. Now we are not dealing with presentation server. We are creating a file, but we will put the file into AL11 transaction code. Means we are going for file handling on application server itself. So we will start with this particular requirement. Same to same, we will fetch data from this particular table and we will put into AL11 transaction code, or you can say we will put into one of the SAP directory of AL11 transaction code. Most, most important topics. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will create a third program for file handling. This is our third program for file handling. And I will give some serial number. Create. Now I will give the description. In this case, we will write the data to the file on application server. So I will give the description to write the data to a file on application server. Previously, we deal with presentation server. Now we are going for application server. I will save this. I will save this as a local object. Same to same, we will go for internal table work areas and query. So that part I'll simply copy from the previous program because we already did that part in the previous video. So we will go for one select option for order number. I will go for internal table and work areas. And we will write a query. This is our query to fetch data from order header table. I will provide the selection text, go to text element, selection text. I will activate this. Now we have the order numbers into this internal table. Previously, you used GUI download function module to download the data onto presentation server. But now we are not dealing with presentation server. We need to put that data, whatever the data is coming into this internal table, we will put into AL11 directories. We will put onto application server. And the topic is we want to write that data to the file on the application server. Application server means AL11. So I'll show you AL11 transaction code. Suppose in all these directories, we will use this temp directory. In the project this they will let you know which directory you have to use. So here I will use this temp directory and this is the path of the directory. This is the directory. So I will declare this directory. I will write data lv underscore path 
suppose I'm saying 10 length type C value. And what is the value? What is the value? Slash TMP. Slash TMP. We will save our file into this particular directory. Now we will go for our full understanding. We will use the statements. Now, if you remember when we started with the topic, whenever you want to go for file handling on application server, we have to use these statements open data set, close data set, read data set, delete data set, transfer. So we will use all these statements to firstly write the data to the file on present or to write the data to the file on application server. This part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.